come to day three in Malta guys and as you can see we're wearing masks today and that's because last night when we were walking this old couple stopped us on the street and said why aren't you wearing your masks and we actually had no idea that you have to wear masks even when you're walking outside <laughs> outside and they said that if you're stopped with no mask on it's a hundred euro fine yeah so here we are wearing our masks and also we didn't notice but pretty much everybody's wearing masks on the street while they're walking and just out of respect we're gonna wear ours as well yesterday when we got out of our airbnb we made a left and went all the way down to the trail which is right there today we are making a right going down the coastline to a park and then checking out in the town a bird park as well since we've been here in malta we have seen a ton of construction everywhere even in our airbnb there's always construction noises in the morning and everything so I guess business is booming over here. So the one thing we've noticed walking around is there's a lot of dog poop everywhere. I don't know if it's not required by law for people to not pick up after their dogs or what, but there is a lot of poop everywhere and they're all like smeared and stepped on. So you can tell there's a lot of people stepping in them. We're trying to be careful. I'm not sure if the whole island is like this, but, um, or sorry, I should say country is like this, but at least in St. Paul's Bay, we've noticed it a lot. So as we're walking down the coastline over here, we're noticing that a lot of the bars and I don't know if they're clubs or restaurants, but a lot of them are kind of not busy at all and closed. So that could be because it is cold kind of, like not too hot and it's kind of their winter. So that could be why. And yeah. This is what Zay was talking about. There is literally smeared poop on the pavement everywhere on the sidewalks stopped at this little shop called Promenade. I might be pronouncing that incorrectly, but yeah. So we stopped and we got two coffees. I got a latte and Attila got a Americano. And we also saw these desserts in the window. They have absolutely delicious looking desserts. We couldn't resist. We're like, we gotta try these. And just look at how cool these look. You can never resist these delicious treats and they're all over the place. <laughs> yeah, there's like little pop-ups everywhere, which is, amazing especially when you're walking down the coast and you're hungry i can't even imagine how busy this place is in the summer okay it's time to try these um i also forgot to mention it was six euros for all of this how could it not be delicious though come on guys and then there's our coffees six euros for all of this is not too bad especially considering the beautiful view that we get to enjoy while eating it. It tastes like a chocolate truffle. Mmm. Good. Okay, so it's time for me to try mine. It looks really good. It has like a Oreo bottom to it or something like that. And cream inside. And I'm more of a one bite kind of guy, so let's try it out. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. So mine was super delicious. It had like a harder cookie outside the shell and the inside I think it was some kind of Nutella and the other one was some kind of cream, but absolutely delicious. This is our first time actually checking out the water close up and look at this rugged landscape. It's a cliff area that you have access to walk down and right straight to the water. aquarium we're not gonna be going in there today but this place is massive and you walk if you walk around the corner over there there's a bistro which is actually very fancy looking so behind me right now there's like a club restaurant day club I'm not sure what it is exactly but I'm pretty sure that it's like pretty famous worldwide and it's a super nice area but I think it's closed at the moment it has like an infinity pool that's overlooking the sea it has like a DJ booth as you guys can see and really nice palm trees all over and it's pretty massive as well and it has an amazing view so you can imagine that in the summertime this is probably packed all the time and it's just looking amazing. We've seen so many beautiful sights and it's kind of upsetting that we're here when everything is closed 
because we want to check it out. So we're definitely going to try to come back here at some point in the busy months. So we're about to take a little hike up to the Paleo Christian Catacombs. And on the sign right here, it says it dates back to the second or third century AD. So these things are about to be very, very ancient. We can't wait to check it out. These things are so cool. It looks like a cave almost. You can walk inside and it goes in deep. We're gonna show you guys soon. There's nobody buried in here. They're all empty tombs, but they're very, very cool to see. I love the history here. So I'm about to go inside one of these things here. And yes, just like Zay was saying, at one point there were bodies buried in here. It's pretty echoey down here as well, as you can hear. It's very interesting, very cool. Look at that. And it actually goes in very far. Check that out. I'm not sure, but I think that that's where the bodies were buried right there. It's super muddy right here right now. You can go down here too. It's super dark and extremely muddy. Like I'm saying, I'm stuck. <laughs> but there it is, catacombs. It's my first time ever being in one. I know France has catacombs underneath the city, which have like a lot of remains, a lot of bones and stuff, but this is just uh, empty, but it's very cool. As you guys can see, it's super hard to get down here, but if you're gonna look to the right and the left, there's kind of like, I guess these were the graves probably. There's like little beds here and there and all the way across. Very interesting. Very cool. So I've got a very limited amount of clothes, like warm clothes on this trip, because like we were saying in previous videos, we brought a lot of warm stuff and I did get my jeans muddy. So that sucks, but you'll probably see me wearing the same outfit and Zay as well in a lot of videos. And that's because we have just like a couple uh, pairs of long pants and a couple pairs of sweaters and long shirts, unfortunately. So this sucks. <laughs> this chapel is called the Chapel of Annunciation. And on, on this document, it says that it was first documented in 1618. So this chapel is almost 500 years old. So we've seen a bunch of these like doggy litter cans everywhere and we've also seen signs that say to pick up after your dog and we have not shown you guys 99% of the amount of poop we've seen but there is a lot of poop all over the place, sidewalks and everything. I don't know why people just don't pick it up. It's so funny. <laughs> So I think one of our favorite things so far about Europe, or at least in this country, is how inexpensive the alcohol is. We got this bottle of red Merlot wine for 2.99 euros. That's a great deal. <laughs> and then we got this beer right here, which is their local beer. And yeah, this was also pretty cheap. I think it was 150 if I remember correctly. So we're gonna give that a try and see how it is. And guys, I promise we're not alcoholics because <laughs> this really does make it sound like it, but we're not. We're just trying the local uh, just things, yep. the local pricing, um, the local beer. We actually got this beer at a convenience store and the owner said that it is a uh, local beer and it's one of the best ones. So we're like, we're going to try it. I feel like everybody would say that about their country <laughs> beer though. <laughs> well, we're about to be the judge. Yeah. So we tried to go to a little market outside of our Airbnb and we picked up all the things that we wanted and when we walked to the counter, the guy's like, oh, we don't take credit, it's cash only. And we don't have any cash because obviously like we had to rush and like pick a different country and we didn't know where we were going so we haven't had time to exchange any money and most places that we go to take credit. So we're like shocked that he doesn't have a credit card machine and he told us that in Malta, 
It actually takes the bank two days to exchange your money. So you have to come here prepared with euros. And euro is their cur currency here. But we were shook. We're just like, is there an exchange place we can go to? And he's like, no. He's like, you have to go to the bank and you have to wait two days to get cash. And we're like, oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah. And interestingly enough, we did have money for like Thailand where we were planning to go originally. And we had money for Cambodia where we also planned to go. But all those plans fell through. So yeah. we don't have euros. We have, yeah, we have like literally like four different currencies with us right now. Like some that we got as gifts for the Thailand. We, uh, in Cambodia, they only take US dollars. So we exchange like US dollars and we have a little bit of money from Attila's previous trips. Yeah. But it's just kind of like scrambling around right now that we're doing, but we're making it through. Yeah, most places do take cards like Zay was saying. So it's not that big of an issue. So we're going to go and give this a try, the local beer, and let's see how it is. And I do love beer, but I'm not very picky. So take that as you will, but let's give it a taste. We're going to go back to the store and be like, this wasn't as good as you said it was, if it's not. <laughs> we're not going to do that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. I like it. I mean... Like I was saying, like I would like any beer basically. I'm really I'll be the judge. I'll be the actual judge. <laughs> Zay is a beer connoisseur apparently. It's not bad. It has a little bit of a bitter aftertaste. Yeah. But it's definitely drinkable. It's good. I mean I personally love bitter beers and even IPAs or stuff like that, so for me it's perfect. Yeah. But, I like yeah, it. It's, it's good. good. And they also have like a light version of it that she was saying. It was like a, a blue bottle or a blue can. A blue and that's a lighter version. So it's probably better for Zay. <laughs> or if yeah. you don't like that bitter taste. I'm not a huge beer person in general. So I usually stick to wine or like a mixed drink. Yeah. But I would drink this beer. It's not bad. <laughs>